Hey guys, this is Brian Bennett for CNET.com and right now we are taking a first look at the LG G2. Now this Superphone is the latest flagship model that LG has created. What's so great about this phone? Well, first of all, it's one of the first phones, actually the first phone to globally become available with the Qualcomm 800 processor. It's quad core, it has two gigs of RAM, and it also has its own dedicated graphics RAM, which is pretty impressive. I don't believe there's a phone out there that has that yet, at least in the US or globally. So all the features on this device are a 5.2 inch uh, LCD, it's IPS, it's 1080p resolution. It's big, it's bright, bold, it's pretty cool. It's uh, running Android 4.22 Jelly Bean. It's not 4.3. Hopefully they'll update that in the future. But some of the other interesting things is that it is very thin. It's uh, just over eight uh, millimeters thick. So on back, we've got some interesting design features. We've got a volume uh, control here. We've got volume up, volume down. We also have a button that will unlock the device and lock it. We have a 13 megapixel camera here with flash. It also has optical image stabilization to reduce like shaky uh, hands, that sort of thing. And uh, the actual battery is embedded. It's a 3000 milliamp battery, but it uses what LG calls is a step design um, for the battery that helps it keep its thin profile. So one interesting feature on the LG G2 is this feature called knock on, which lets you tap the screen twice just to unlock the phone and you can also knock it again to tap and shut everything down which is pretty cool. Now another thing here that's really nice is you can just use the volume key on the back here just by holding this down and that'll automatically fire up the camera so you can quickly jump and take photos which is a pretty cool feature. Now holding the volume up button will kick in the quick memo feature like so and then you can just jot down a quick note, you know, whatever you want, like that with your finger. While you're on a call, you can also save those messages and attach them to uh, call notes so you can see it in the call log for later retrieval so you don't miss uh, important information if you don't have a pen and paper handy. So that's a pretty cool feature. So another really great feature on the LG G2 is something called slide aside. Essentially, you can open up up to three different applications, push them to the side of the screen and save them for later use and retrieval. Another really interesting feature on the LG G2 is that you can separate the interface with profiles and have a guest mode. So right now we've set it up so you can just draw a G here and boom, that'll take it to a guest mode. And if you look at it, it looks very uh, kid friendly. So this is something you wanna hand to your toddlers and they won't mess with the email or wipe your phone by accident or start sending tweets in your name. That's something that will actually probably come in pretty handy. So right now we don't have pricing on the LG G2 just yet. What we do know is that it will be available on four major US carriers. That'll be Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. So that's pretty big news. Hopefully uh, we'll see it by uh, Q3, Q4, right in time for the holiday season. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET.com and this has been a first look at the LG G2. Be sure to check back soon for a full review.